Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Avionics, back with another action figure review video. Now if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and ringing that notifications bell. So we're going to be taking a look at um, one of the latest NECA Ninja Turtle action figures out on the market that you can find right now at local targets. Uh, this is the NECA Ultimate Evil Rex 1 action figure. And you know, um, like I said, Target and he's ringing in about $50 now uh, he is a bit of a a troop builder being that he did uh, show up in the same episode as Rex one did in the 87 cartoon um, and Shredder decided to make clones of Rex one so he had like an army of these evil Rex one but you might want to be careful because they are $50 each so maybe if you guys are trying to maybe just get like three of these guys and I think that should get the point across but here is the front cover art of the Evil Rex. It says Terminate the Turtles. It's a sewer hero series. And then here is the side of the VH style packaging. And it says Sewer Hero Series number two. Again, Terminate the Turtles. On the other side, we've got the same branding. At the bottom, it shows all the credits to the NECA team of the sculpt, paint, artwork, Photograph, uh, photography and the packaging and it has a list of accessories included blasters red muzzle blast a, um, a blue muzzle blast effect megaphone and a bunch of interchangeable hands and then barcode for anyone that needs it and I will provide the DPCI label for this guy down in the video description below that'll help you find him at Target and then here is a shot of the back art got some Shots of the army of clones that Shredder created. Another photo here and showing off what's underneath the chest plates. And then here at the, the top, if you want to go ahead and pause and read the toy description. And then opening up the box, we have a good view of the window style packaging and the artwork. There's the artwork. It's a great, great photo. And then here is the window or the, uh, the figure in the packaging. All right, let's go ahead and open up Evil Rex. All right, so Evil Sexy Rexy One is now all out of the box along with all of his accessories. So he's gonna come with 10 total hands or five complete pairs. And uh, we'll start off with the hands on the figure itself with a right and a left closed fist. And then he does have blaster holding right and left. So here's the, the right. All right, because you got that trigger finger. And once again, with all NECA figures, especially cartoon figures, you want to warm up the joints before you bend them. Otherwise, they will just break off. Here's the left blaster holding hand sculpt. All white, great looking black cartoon lines, and um, these trigger hands, sorry, trigger figure hands, they articulate up and down for aiming, which is good. NECA paying attention to the detail for blaster type hands, where they go, you know, you hold up or down the their arsenal. And then we have our gripping hands, just a regular grip. And then uh, so there's the right, and then here's the left. I'm not seeing any defects whatsoever yet. We are still early on in this review. I'm sure we'll see something that NECA missed out on or quality control did. And then we have these expression of hands. All the phalanges, uh, joints of the fingers are all sp splayed out. Okay. And then these hands articulate side to side. Uh, these gripping ones. Uh, okay, so these back to the regular gripping, they articulate up and down. So you can see there. Okay, so that was the right. Here is the left of fingers all splayed out. Okay, and then the final pair of hands are just these uh, like salute style at rest hand sculpt. Okay. 
So here's the right, and uh, these are articulate side to side. Here's the left. Okay. And then he does come with a megaphone. I believe uh, the first Rex one came with a megaphone as well. Same exact thing, I believe. I'd have to dig through uh, all my TMIC accessories to find out. Or you can check out my review on him, which I did uh, about a year ago. Check that out. But here's his megaphone. And then, and then here are his blasters, which are different, just uh, paint-wise. These ones are all black, so here's his right blaster. And we're going to break out original Sexy Rexy one here and do some comparison. So this will peg right here on his hip. Let's go ahead and do that right there. Okay, make sure you don't topple over because, you know, these Rex robots are top heavy. And then the left one, the left blaster, good sculpt. Obviously, no tune lines. They're all black compared to uh, the first edition blasters. And then he does come with two blast effects. We have a light blue one. And it's more of a uh, opaque blue towards the, the, the back of the effect. And it goes to a more translucent clear to the tip. And be careful. These are kind of sharp. And then a red one. All right. So this is a little bit more. It's a different sculpt. And uh, more opaque towards the back, more translucent towards the front. Watch out. Yes, spiky. And yeah, these will just peg right into the tip of the blasters like so. It's a nice, nice fit to it. it. Won't fall out. So that's how the red one looks. And then the blue one. There we go. All right. So now let's take a, a closer look at... Rex, Evil Rex himself. You know what, let's go ahead and take the blasters off. So, it's actually a different sculpt as far as the head goes compared to Rex one here. As you can see, there is no um, badge or shield up at the top. And then the shape of the, uh, the visor eyes is a more of that aggressive violent look and obviously the paint differences are there and then uh the shape of the jaw is different than original rex one as you can see here it has that curve up top on the top part of the jaw and it does articulate not 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 a lot of range going on but it's actually more range of motion than my rex one does it barely moves but yeah because you can see like his lip right there so it barely moves but this one does move a lot more okay so yeah but yeah obviously paint differences and then no shield on the front left chest piece it only says rex right here opening up the chest pieces let's go ahead open rex one evil rex Pretty much the same paint applications for under the chest pieces and same sculpt. And uh, obviously paint differences. Evil Rex is going to be like mainly dark gray with black and then the red. Alright, so. Plus he does have white on his robotic pieces including the shin guards and... Uh, I guess you'd call it his peg holster. All right. And then nice black tune lines all around, especially on his back. And I'm not seeing any, any paint deficiencies here. And then his, his uh, shoes or feet are all painted black, whereas they are of a, like a dark gray on Rex one. Uh, and then the shin guards are uh, more white and light gray on regular Rex 1. Those are mainly the differences that we're going to find for Rex 1. Or, sorry, Evil Rex 1. And then he has peg holes at the bottom. Alright, so now let's take a look at articulation. Once again, we did say that his jaw opens up a little. He's not going to have much tilting action going on on the head. 
front, forward, all the way back. Shoulders go up as far as that goes, rotating all the way around. It does articulate right here at the top of the bicep. And then we have single joint elbows that ratchet and a kind of a ratcheting feeling to it. And then obviously his hands are gonna rotate all the way around. He has that top chest articulation right here. And then he does, doesn't really twist. Not gonna force him. But you can tell, if you, if you look close right here, you can see that it, he is kind of turned towards the left. So, but I'm not gonna force it. And then legs, he's gonna kick up as far as that. All the way back, like so. Splits. And the holsters don't really interfere too much, but there's him doing the splits. And then we have single joint ratcheting style again at the knees. And then his feet should be able to swivel all the way up, not really much, all the way back, not really much. So he's, you can't really get a lot of foot articulation out of these Rex robots. All right, now let's do some size and scale comparison with other NECA cartoon TMNT figures. So we have brought out, again, original Rex 1 standing side to side, and we have the NECA cartoon TMNT Krang. Here he is with April O'Neil, Casey Jones, Leonardo and Michelangelo with Shredder and a Foot Soldier, and Bebop and Rocksteady. Here's some B-roll shots of Evil Rex 1 as we wrap up this review video on him. So there are some minor differences between Evil Rex 1 and Original Rex 1, uh, mainly the paint, and then no police badging or shield on the hat or the chest piece, and then obviously the uh, the different shaped jaw, the front, uh, front part of the, the mouthpiece, and the angular type uh, glasses or visor, if you will, the vision visor. And then, you know, other differences are the color of the, uh, the blasters are different. They're all black rather than gray. But yeah, if you're into collecting uh, army builders, I'm, you might want to just collect three as these are once again, $50 each and, um, or just have the one, you know, someone like me just, just needs one of everything. I'm just going to grab one. But yeah, it's going to look great with, uh, you know, on the, the evil side with Shredder. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. Leave all your comments and thoughts down below as usual. And please, once again, if you haven't already, subscribe and ring that notifications bell. And I'll see you guys in the next review video. Thanks for watching.